Hey, 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 what's up, world? It's your boy, G-Shop, everybody, Faith, baby, dad, the voice of the street, man. And today, we in Houston and California with Wack. Now, everybody know that Wack and Jay Prince been going back and forth over this uh, Larry Hoover project that they trying to get worked out. Jay Prince is on uh, Ms. Hoover's side. He know Larry Hoover's wife, right? And uh, Wack 100 is on the lady who shot the video side. It was an old documentary that was shot, y'all. That Larry who was talking. <laughs> they got like five hours of him talking. Now they realizing it's worth some money. Now Larry really want a gangster from not Larry. I mean, uh, Jay Prince really want a gangster from her and take it. That's why Wack that Wack trying to prevent that. Uh, it was another lawyer that put whack that because they know this lady they would try to intimidate her and take it from her and they know Mr. Hoover them dealing with gangs they figure well I know whack maybe I use whack as a mediator to keep it from going left right which is correct because technically uh, that's what Jay Prince wanted to do bully her out of it right but all this, as y'all been seeing, been going back and forth on social media, y'all. This shit done got so hot that the FBI done got involved. When I be telling y'all, the FBI watches these videos and they watch social media, I mean that shit. I tell y'all that. This is how they getting all the evidence. Now, me particularly, I'm not a uh, WAC 100 fan. But, in this situation, why kept it all the way 100 with this high gem net? Because the feds, the FBI called Wack 100, y'all, and want to know what's going on. They listening on Jay Prince line. He might have made some threats or he might be talking greasy. Somehow, word is getting back. And now you got FBI from California and Houston. The call come from Houston. And went to California, so that means these are the Houston FBI callers. So that means they on Jay Prince line, y'all. They call whack because they looking at him like a victim. See, Jay Prince has always been big and on the FBI radar. They've been trying to bust him for years, y'all. They had locked him up, gave him 25 years. He gave it back. They've been on his bumper, y'all. This is nothing new. That's why he don't get his hands dirty. He stay out. But in this case, something has been said where the FBI is worried. They worry for whack safety. And I'm going to let y'all hear. This is some come off clubhouse where whack was telling his guys. Y'all just sit back and listen to this, man. I'm going to put his play. But I'm oh, listening. Who got the thing? Play that shit. So you want me to play it? Huh? Play it. You know how that shit. Niggas need to know how to deal with this yeah. shit in case they have in that situation. Now, that's some real that shit. Everybody needs to know how y'all deal with this shit. Y'all know me and this nigga don't see our eye, but now I see how niggas get caught up. Motherfuckers, you need to be quiet. Come on. 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 Okay, this is the about. FBI lady talking, y'all. She talking okay. to Wack. Well, what's wrong with working on Larry Hoover project? No, sir. I, no, nothing. Nothing's wrong Uh, uh, 
Will calling you and this, and you calling him one, and and, and all of and, and all of that. With, okay. with the, where we received information that there was possibly a disagreement. Yeah, even if we did do that, why would why would that be an uh, interest of the FBI? Because we don't want to have any barren cases pending against one another. We have never done any business with one another. Uh, for as I know, Mr. Prince uh, uh, is a businessman as I am, so in regards to what we said to each other, um, as far as a snitch and not being a snitch, like, why would that be? Uh, interest in the FBI. That's what's kind of confusing to me. Okay, no, I can, I can, I can explain that. I mean, of course, there's nothing wrong, wrong with that whatsoever. Um, but we're just making sure that uh, no threats have been made to you from She's anyone fishing, yo. uh, that was associated with him. I hope or, a or tell her tell something you. that she already know, though. No, I haven't. Uh, no threats have been made, uh, nor do I feel threatened. Uh, you know, two men get angry, two men say things. Uh, we both been in each other's presence uh, from time to time. Uh, I know his, I know his children. Uh, nah, not at all. I don't feel threat. Was it something you, you guys know that I don't know? Cause, uh, yeah, both don't concern. You know, the, the daily bullshit propaganda that happens on social media. Oh, yes, sir, I understand that, but, you, but I think you could uh, kind of understand that sometimes things go past social media, and um, we were providing information that possibly, possibly that something went beyond that, and so we're just going to clarify and make sure that you haven't been threatened, or, or anyone that you know that has been threatened by him or his associates regarding the disputes that you've had over social media, over YouTube, over Instagram, and, and all of that. No, Mr. Prince, I have an any press towards me. Um, I don't feel threatened. Um, uh, I've said to him the same things he said to me, and that's just two men saying things. Uh, I don't think that that's serious of a situation. As far as I know, Mr. Prince is uh, continuing his business in public. Here, say y'all. Okay. She's him. No, I, I did. I did put she she in, don't even know the lady's uh, fucking name. Contact with their family attorney, so at this point, uh, it's not even a conversation uh, that I have with her. Uh, I was recording while he was in prison, so um, I just tried to bring the two parties together. 
um, see if they can do one, do a quick and one big situation. So, yes, sir. And so who owns the lake to that area? The, the, the lady that the lady who has, what is she has the contract. I have the contract. I forward the contract to the family attorneys. Um, um, she's, she's, she's been on here since 1998. Yes, sir. And did Mr. Prince attempt to get the right to that interview? Well, no, he attempted to negotiate a deal possible. The negotiation is still going on. Okay. Leon J. Prince, they went J-ass. Oh, absolutely not. I, I'm not implying that whatsoever. Just because they have information that we were seeing that was not accurate. Um, that was not what we Look at the pictures, y'all. Really See how uh, gangster they got. Prince looking. No, uh, how goofy, no, whack no, look. Just um, look at the two pictures. Who would you be scared uh, of if you, you was looking at the pictures? You know, even you know, the chapter off where you're going to continue to negotiate. So, as of right now, we're still negotiating. She's, she's negotiating. It's just the two attorneys are talking and they're figuring it out. Okay. Just, just, See, the Hoover um, name is hot. You know, uh, y'all. Mr. It's uh, hot. They don't want to let him go. Uh, they don't family. want his family to make no money. They don't give a fuck. Well, right. To attempt to negotiate. But well, that's all it was was negotiations. No one know that. Okay, well, I I appreciate your time. Thank you so much for talking to me. Um, if you want to keep my number and anything uh, comes up or you or you hear of anything dealing with any type of threat or yo, yeah, it's not over with, let it keep playing. See, that's right there, he talking. Let it you keep playing, it ain't no That's me. exclusive in the B. Yo, life. B. Keep playing it. Uh, play. Everybody, you up. Everybody, you up. Yeah, yeah. Up. Yeah. up. Play it in. Y'all gotta know how to do it. And so we just have to follow up. And so I, I just thought I would talk to you directly instead of, you know, just uh, these things are all in the games, you know, a lot of times we play the media because we got events coming up, we got artists, things coming up, you know what I mean? So, you know, kind of like, there's social media, there's not all real, a lot of it's fictional, a lot of it's... Now, I'll let y'all hear that, y'all, so y'all can know uh, how serious the police is about this social media shit. They don't have to leave the office no more. They just turn on their computers like us, click on their shit. And the bigger you get, the more the eyes will get on you. Like, I might be a small timer to them, but if I say something that alert them to my page, once they get on it, they on it. Even if I'm going through somebody else's page, for instance, uh, I did the video about Charleston White, y'all. Where they said they beat up his nephew I got a lot of comments where they said that ain't his nephew You know some old shit I said if whoever it is let me know who it is So I can apologize and take that video down If it ain't his nephew Because it was sent to me They said it was his nephew Why two days later Maybe a day later I get a, a mention from another YouTuber Said Charles White mentioned you in his YouTube clip. So when I clicked on it, right, I see it got my name and shit up there, but I looked at the video, he ain't said nothing about me. So that mean that YouTuber pulled me to his channel. It's like clickbait or however, he pulled it to me. Cause a lot of people be thinking the enemy of my enemy is my friend. They figure if I got a price with Charles, uh, a problem with Charleston White and you do, we should be on the same side. I ain't got no problem with him. I just don't like how he move him. That's him, but hey, that's how he do what he do. You know, and I was laughing about the uh, soldier boy thing. And it's good soldier boy didn't do nothing to that nigga because them police on his ass, right? And on his side, though, not in the bad way. The police fuck with Charles White. So, uh, he had them pull up that Mackerel boy, whatever his name is. I keep forgetting his name. And come find out this guy got three warrants, right? 
he sick the police on him. Like, why? Two days ago, police knocked on my motherfucking door, y'all. Talking about they want to do a well-being check. They looking for an elderly lady. An elderly lady, nah. We got a two-flat building. So, my studio is upstairs, and the first floor is the family. And, you know, we own the whole building. So, I'm like, an elderly lady? Ain't no elderly lady stay upstairs, you know? I, that's my apartment, my studio. I see that they want to go downstairs. They didn't. They wanted access to my apartment, y'all. So, when we, I said, well, y'all can come walk through because I've been through this. I know when they just looking for a body or to see. It's not a search they can walk through or whatever. When they called back and said who they looking for, they, couldn't, they didn't know the name of the person they was looking for. They didn't have no call back number or none of that. And to the police, they're saying, yeah, this is some bullshit. I told the police that's that SWAT shit where the police or, or somebody uh, call SWAT and send them to your house. They can just say, hey, it's a lady being raped in the building over here. Woo-woo-woo. You know, uh, this happened not to me. Uh, years back, the police went one out here. They was overlooking at another abandoned house. And they said it was somebody being raped in the apartment. I'm like, well, well, what the bitch hey, Y'all need to go find her. You know, I'm like, this house ain't abandoned. You know, so they went to a couple of houses on the block looking and then they got on up out of there. But you can call and tell them all kind of shit, dog. And then listen, you know, mm, this is just crazy, but this let me know right here. They own Jay Prince. I hope he didn't heard this. Now, Wack recorded all this. Let me tell you something else Wack did that he probably don't even know. It's illegal. To record a motherfucker conversation without their knowledge of it. You hear me? I'm going to say that again. It is illegal to record a motherfucker conversation without his or her knowledge of it. Now when she see this shit on YouTube. Wack might be getting in trouble because that's like wiretap. You need a court order to record somebody goddamn phone call. I don't care if it's yours or not. You can't just record no motherfucker like that. And he did. I'm surprised he even put it out here. And uh, they might not bother him because they might just uh, fuck it. But they might do because they might not even want it to be out there. They call him personally. If they wanted. Now you can let Jay Prince know his line tap. So that mean the feds might be mad at, at whack. Like, you son of a bitch. We call you to make sure you were safe. You record the call and put it up on Facebook. Now everybody know what's going on. And it's from Houston, y'all. That mean the feds in Houston is on J. Press. Bumper. He ain't doing nothing illegal. They just hate the fact that he got money like that. And he's like such a big gangster now that he's feared. People don't know a lot about him like that. You know, but he own rap a lot. And you know, it's a lot going on. But if they can find anything dirty on him, they will. They've been fucking with the man for at least 40 some years, y'all. Trying to fuck rap a lot up. If y'all remember when the Ghetto Boys first came out and he was arguing with somebody on the phone, he said, You want to go to war? I'll take you to war. That's how long they've been fucking with Jay Preston. They didn't want rap a lot to get big as it got, y'all, but it did. And the money clean. And Jay Prince smart enough to let his guys know it's nothing illegal done at rap a lot. Either y'all making records or y'all not. Them boys do not get their fucking hands dirty. Just check it out. Pull up and see how many rap a lot artists go to jail. Not many. Only motherfucker I really know went was uh my man Zero when he had got over there. He always riding around with the drink. You know, but none of them was going to jail. And the police stayed on them. Listen to some of Scarface's song when he said, God damn, man, these motherfuckers following me around and shit. 
the FBI. They've been doing it, y'all. They've been on them. That's why I say these rappers, y'all making so much money, y'all got to clean your act up and, and try not to get your hands dirty. Some of y'all want to be the boss, the shooter, the killer, the drug dealer. You can't be all that, man. All them jobs belong to somebody else. But if you the boss, stay the boss. The boss is the last motherfucker supposed to go to jail, y'all. You feel me? He's the last person that's supposed to go to jail. And I showed y'all this picture, right? Look at that. Now just look how goofy Wack look. And look how gangster J. Prince look. But I will get to Wack. He kept it 100 on that. But me, I wouldn't have talked to they ass that long. You know what I mean? I would have been like, FBI, what you need to talk to me about? And they said that you and J. Prince had, well, that's me and J. Prince business. Put, you need to talk to me. You need to talk to his attorney or my attorney and left it at that. I wouldn't have pulled all that shit out and then recorded. That shit might backfire on them, y'all. It really do. You know? You know, so. That's what's going on, man. I'm just chilling, y'all. Relaxing, man. Uh, I just thought I'd let y'all hear that since I was just up listening to it a little bit. And I'm like, damn, this shit crazy here, yeah, boy. It's really crazy. It's your boy, G. Shrimp, everybody, baby, baby, daddy, watch the street. I'm out.